Spooky time. Okay, hello everybody. It is I, ooh, Terexius, and uh, we haven't entered the elevator yet, so, uh, shit. Okay, now we're back to where we were last episode. So, uh, Father Martin fixed the elevator, except it wasn't fixed and it broke down on us, and now we're down here. And uh, I got my favorite Christmas shirt on me, because as we all know, it's like just about 130 something days until Christmas. Um, well, that sounds spooky, and you might ask, what's this? Why? Well, well, well. Those are my pants, because why have them on your legs when you can have them on your shoulders? You, no, that was my safe place, you jackass. Okay, were well, you gonna work now? That's um, highly unfair. Uh, another news. I, I have my green screen now, you can see that, right? Uh, you will notice lighting there. That is because the uh, sunshine is doing me uh, not so good. Um, I don't have any space for lighting in my room, and I have a window right over there, like right next, like right next to me. Okay, so that that doesn't really help me. Uh, anyway, enough. Hey, I'm the recording. I I'm the supreme camera here, dude. Get out. Uh, enough uh, excuse. Oh, that blinded me. Do you want to see that again? Ooh, I'm sorry, guys. Why is it so light here, dude? That's amazing. Ooh, have we seen that before? God damn it! It looks like some uh, Magnus uh, Opus shit. Ah, it's the Wall Rider project. Uh, note? Under the mountain. Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone I am not crazy. I know, I know. Only crazy people say that. But I am as sane as this world allows, with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know it is Murkoff's fault. Bury these bastards with my mutilated dead body. Miles, you're not sounding very positive. We're not gonna die, you know that, right? I am controlling you this time, and I am a pro gamer. What, a journal too? From the personal records of Dr. Vernick. Hey, it's a dead doctor. Frankenstein, or the Modern Prometheus, by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, chapter 23, excerpt. Man, I cried, how ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease, you know not what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and disturbed and retired to mediate, meditate on some other mode of action. Did people not approve of your... Hmm, I... I think I need a new mouse. Well, this isn't my usual mouse. I lent that out to my dad. I might need to get it back because this one is not working with my hand as you can see because I flick it down every time. Um, oh, we're getting gassed again, except it doesn't work, haha, uh -huh. just getting gassed now. Sir? Oh my god, it's a real human, it's not a mental patient, holy crap. Guys, oh, these are the, these are the Murkoff scientists, so I mean, uh, I think they deserve it, right? Ah, oh, this is the A block. Wonderful. Just what I... What do I need? Another way out. Right. Well. Good thing Miles knows where to go. Hey. What do we have here? Ooh. Great pile of nothings. Well. Human organs. In another camera? Dude, my camera is so much better. No one no wonder you died. Room number two, we have some x-ray photos. And that's about it. Delivery exit. Exit? I like the sound of exit. Tonight we're gonna exit this place. We're gonna. Exit this place, and no one's gonna 
find us or kill us? Oh my god, the exit is right there? Why is there armored trucks here, though? A little worried about that. Why would I go there when there's blood over here? Hello? Don't you remember Father Martin's last words? Follow the blood, dude. Wait, I can go wherever I want? Dude, I didn't know this was an open world game. Damn. Okay, well, there's darkness over there, so... And also loud, creepy music, I noticed. Uh, I've also figured out uh, how to record multiple audio tracks. So either the audio in this video is going to be really good and balanced, or you're not going to hear the game or me. And if that's the case, then uh, shit. But hey, at least I tried. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a morphogenic engine. This is the morphogenic engine, a few lines of mathematics, an algorithm, reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factories, a few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw and a few hours alone with Dr. Wernick's corpse, I feel I owe him a debt. Miles, you're so violent. You, you've... We haven't been here for like, too long. It's only been six hours, roughly. Are you gonna tell me you can super jump here? No, okay. You want me to go this way? I'll go this way. It is awfully dark in here though. Oh, I can only see on my camera. Oh, fuck that. Oh, fuck you. Oh my god. He he's only- he can only be seen on my camera. Why? Is he behind me? Oh god, it's locked, isn't it? Oh god, Chris! What? No, no, no you can't! This is not fair, you can't double down on me! Stop! Wait! Oh shit! Said, This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching you your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. Chris... Oh, poor guy. I liked him. He was my favorite character. Okay, wall rider. You know, I called you a nice guy. And then you pulled off some shit like that. We are officially not cool anymore, dude. I am coming and I'm gonna find you or I'm gonna kill you. That's what I'm gonna do. Wall Rider? Project Wall Rider. More like Project My Fist Down Your Throat. If you catch my drift. Where am I? Not supposed to go here, apparently. Look at it. You can't see my background except for the sunlight. That's all you can see. Isn't that just wonderful? Uh, it's an Elgato green screen. Uh, bought it for around $200? I know, I, I know. What? I am supposed to be dead. No, Are you Vernick? No such luck. I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left. Of Billy. Billy? Billy Bob. He takes care of me. He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me. Wait. Oh, idiot. Is the wall rider Billy Bob Bobson? You know what this symbol represents. Wall rider. It warns of a nano hazard. Microscopic machines. Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. Kirchhoff discovered in my research a war command. Turning the cells in the human body 
It would add no factories. It's the natural function of cells to produce molecules. But through psychosomatic direction, we engineer the precise molecules necessary. Mind over body. That's what I want. Foolish and wrong to think we could control it. To use madmen to make something so strong. You have to stop him to murder no. Billy. Turn off his life support. His anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. I can't no kill Billy Bob. He lives. He's my brother, damn it. You must kill him. I'm sorry. They achieved something like this in 1944. Those fascists thought it was spirits. I let them believe it. Let them kill themselves, thinking there was some kind of afterlife now empirically promised to them. Fools. Poor Aaron. He would weep to see what I've built from his dreams. Billy doesn't mean harm. He's a child with a damaged mind. Granted the powers of a god. It would make any of us into a monster. You must end this. We all must die here. Murkov knew the danger, and they didn't care. In the corporation's mind, we were all just dollar amounts in a ledger. And the Prophet's Project War Rider promised overshadowed whatever pitiful balance a few doctors and patients amounted to. He will spread if you don't stop him. The morphogenic engine is self perpetuating. I pray to God you have the strength to end it here with your death. More than anything, I want to rest. Billy will not let me die. You could never imagine how cruel this is. I only want to die. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Oh, going on. There you go. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, so I took a one hour break and I'm back, I'm refreshed, I had some lunch. Meatballs for those of you who was wondering. I'm Swedish, it's what I do. Um, Our goal is to kill Billy. Don't know how I feel about that. You know, Billy's been a huge part of uh, this channel so far. And I'm going the wrong way. But I'm gonna keep going the wrong way until it's right. Now that I've gone the wrong way, I'm gonna go the right way. I need to go to the laboratory, I think. And I need to unplug Billy's life support. Or at least that's what Vernick told me. And we all know we can trust Vernick. So he should be in the engine chambers? I'm not sure anymore. Saving. Huh. Cafeteria, you say? Ooh, this looks like some parkour. Do I go up there? I'll try. I don't think I can, though. Yeah, let's see. Oh, Jesus! Okay, 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 okay. So, you can only see him in nighttime mode. I just realized. Holy fuck. Fuck balls. Bejeebers! Okay. Only see him in nighttime mode. Night vision. Can't use night vision here because.
I need to go in there. He's not here, dude. I don't need to go in there, okay. Where am I going? Main laboratory. Where is the main laboratory? This way? Morphogenic engine chamber. God damn it. So Vernick told me that I have to die here. Don't know how to feel about that. Don't know why I'm commenting on it now, rather than when he said it, either. God damn it. Where is he? Where is he? Bastard. I hear him. I can hear him. Is he below? Dude, screw you, all rider. I thought we were friends. Gas me up before I go, go. I'll go this way. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Note to all personnel from consultant MM008, Rudolf Wernick. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influ influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us than the that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power, sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. Uh, I think you were one of the tempted ones. Now, I could be wrong, of course. Open up. What is happening here? The assembler, the feed chambers, the precursor molecules, vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online. Probably drunk, probably distracted, not nearly enough to know how to destroy it. But Billy is the center of it. Find him, kill him, end this. So Billy is the one that's making everyone insane, huh? Billy Bob Bobson. Is that Billy? Did you see that? Did I imagine that? Oh, is that- that's Billy. I don't know, man. This might be the last episode, for all I know, of the main series. I'm doing the deals. Oh, great. I'm doing the DLC after this. Like, directly after this. New objective, turn off the valve for the live support fluid reserver. Where does one find that? Are you Billy? From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. You're 23? Man, you cannot have a good time. Ooh! What's going on with all the journals, dude? Oh, it's a long one. Okay. <clears throat> Morphogenic engine chamber maintenance schedule. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Well, system 1. The enriched oxygenated perflu... Perfluorocarbon... <laughs> per perfluorocarbon from the life support fluid reservoir... M reservoir? Must be continuously... Continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital System 2. Electric supply is, is supplemented and ensured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital System 3. In case of catastrophic loss of Vital Systems 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage maintaining a localized, minimum life support functioning until technicians can arrive. 
Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. So we want to uh, destroy the failsafe. Hello? Can't see your face clearly. Okay, who cares? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this green screen it was worth definitely the roughly two hundred dollars I spent on it. Battery? Man, I have I have eight batteries. That's locked. Gotta turn off the life support fluid. Reservoir? Reser receive I R. Man, pronunciation stood. Come on. What am I supposed to do? Do it right? Oh, life support fluid reserve. Just so happened, that's where I need to go. What's this? Is that an Easter egg? I'm just kidding, guys. Of course, it's not an Easter egg. Who do you think I am? Life support. Let's go. This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all. Break it all. He has to die. Man, Miles, what do you got against Billy? Wait, it's Billy Hope? Uh, I thought it was Billy Bob Bobson. Well, then I have no problem killing him, guys. Let's do it. This is his life support, huh? Jesus. Well, all I have to do is uh, go up here, turn the valve, not be killed by a wall rider. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So many documents today, guys. It's amazing. From the personal records of Dr. Vernick, Frankenstein of the Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, chapter 4, excerpt. <gasps> He's quoting it again, guys. Stop. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge? And how much happier that modest man than who than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. I don't see a valve here, guys. Rebooting system. Am I blind? I'm pretty sure there's no valve here. Oh well, I tried. Guess Billy gotta live and I'm gonna die. Oh no, I found it. Do not turn the valve. Don't tell me what to do, damn it. I mean, I'm sorry, Billy. What was that? Get off the electric supply from the sublab generator. Hey, that's back there. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no, 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 no. I've had it with the ghost trying to chase me. I do not, I do not appreciate it at all. I'm out. Oh, I can't turn my mouse as a controller in the way. Curse you, Tor, for not having a clean and nice looking desk. God damn it. Get away from me! Are you still chasing me? Get alive, dude! Come on! I'm just here to fuck up your life, nothing more! Like, calm down! God damn it. God damn it! My mouse can't tolerate stairs! Holy shit! How far up is it? Stop! Oh no! I'm still being chased! Help! 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 Oh, you bastard! Okay, I made it. I made it. I made the jump. Oh, no! No, no, no! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! I'm scared the shit out of me! Oh, no! Um, guys, 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 guys! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, he's, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Oh my goodness.
I need to reload. Okay. A uh, new thing. Please find attached a permissions to proceed form for patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatry Psychiatry Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding, unfounded, of a financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Vernick, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. This is William Hope. This is, uh, Billy Hope. William Hope. That is brother. Is William Hope? Oh, is he? he Will is William the Wall Rider? Is William the Wall Rider? Is that it? Where are you? Where is he? He's gotta be somewhere. He's not there. That's good. That's good. No! Oh, I thought I missed the jump. It's just you. Bill, oh, Jesus! Stop! I'm not a plaything, damn it! Ow! Fuck! Fuck! Shit! 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 God damn it! God damn it! Where are you? Where are you? There you are, you bastard! Screw you! No! 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 Damn it! Oh! Billy, prepare to die! I'm sorry, Billy. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go, Billy. 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 Where the fuck are you, Billy? Where's Billy? There you are. You gotta go. You gotta go. How do I kill you? How do I kill you? Damn it. Ow! No, no, leave me alone. Miles, how are you alive? Record it, dude! Billy, die! Please, Billy, Billy, please, die! No, no, Miles, don't die! Did he just enter me? Wait, did he die? Billy's dead! Am I dead? I'm alive? Oh my god, I can barely walk. Get out? Where is out exactly? You mind telling me that? Come on, Miles, not like this. You've been through it all, I get it, man. But now it is time to stand up high and just leave, okay? Don't give in. Yeah, that's right. No, 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 no. God damn it. No, no, don't give up! Fuck off! Stand up! You bastard! Have the camera, dude, we're on a trip. Project Wall Rider? Fuck you! Fuck you! Whoo! Okay. So. I have no clue how long this video is. Because I've recorded for 90 minutes. But I also left for an hour. Which means the episode is half an hour long. 
Why didn't I should just try to do math more often? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? God, Himmer, you have become the host. Goosebumps. You can't see it, but oh my god. Okay, so Billy was hosting the Wall Rider, who I assume is was his brother, William. But we killed Billy, so the Wall Rider went into us and then we became the host. And then everyone died, and I don't know what happened after that. That, what the goddamn. So this is the last episode of the main campaign, guys. What did you think? Perfect uh, time for me to get my green screen, right? I think it's looking pretty good. Um, what can I say, man? This game was just a constant thrill to play like every time you launch it there's something that happens you either get chased or you get jump scared the audio makes you feel on edge every time uh, it was a bit frustrating when I in the last episode <laughs> when I didn't know where to go at all that was a bit frustrating and kinda of ruined my experience but um you know, I gotta say, I finally finished a game that I first played five years ago. It was released six years ago, but you know. I only, I did play the game three times before this, but I only, I never made it through this, the uh, basement, you know, when we turn on the generator. I never got that far. But here we are, finished the entire game on my channel. I'm kind of proud. Uh, as I said, tomorrow... Uh, Wait, I haven't said this, but, you know, tomorrow I'll do, oh, I actually don't know, we'll see, but, um, the day after tomorrow, we will continue with the, the Whistleblower DLC, which, I believe we play as another character, um, but that's all I know. Look at all these guys making games and shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, God damn it. I don't know if I should mourn Chris's death. You know, he was a big part of this uh, series, of this experience. But he's dead. Maybe we get to see, because I believe that the DLC is what happens before Miles arrives. I I think we can see what went wrong at Mount Massive Asylum, which should be a nice experience. There it is, new game whistleblower. Um. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the last episode of the main campaign of Outlast. As I said, we will continue with the whistleblower DLC. Um, great game. Uh, but I've already said that. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Comment down below what you thought. Give me some feedback. See if I can improve. Uh, comment what you think about me uh, using this whole green screen. Because I love it. And I hope you do too. Uh, and the audio should be better now. Because I... Yeah, I just feel like I'm finally getting to uh, understand this whole YouTube thing a bit better. i watched YouTube ever since I was like... 8... I guess, maybe, I don't remember, 2007, 8, that's where I started to watch it, uh, yeah, hopefully I entertained you guys well enough, 
And I'll see you in the next episode, whatever that may be. Maybe Astas? We'll see. Goodbye.